welcome in students through our cafeteria. They will have a health screening and then they will have a grab and grow breakfast and then proceed in the appropriate hallways to their classroom. And label the pod room so that the students know where to go. We have the schedule for each pod and stuff on the wall. None of the pods are more than 15 students per room and that's the max of pods that will hold in our classroom. So we make sure each of them are marked on the floor with tape as well as where students are. And each desk will have the shields on it. Um, each student will have their own device that they're using because we're not exchanging papers from one person to the next. That they see signs that talk about health, you know, six feet, staying apart six feet, washing hands, and also all the beautiful signs we have to welcome them back to school. We got the MERV 13 filter upgrade, which is universal because we want to ensure that our community is safe during this time. Put in a lot of incentive programs for them. And so we will have like raffles on Fridays. We'll do a breakfast and we'll also do like a lunch. We've built out a program for social and emotional support for students, um, as well as, you know, routine mass breaks and hygiene breaks. Just making sure that we, we recognize that students have been out of a school building for over a year. Miss having the students here and this is a great opportunity for us to reconnect with some of our students. And we just look forward to seeing some new faces because our ninth graders have never been in the building so this is really an extraordinary moment for them. 